So let me guess. You probably clicked on this video for one or three reasons. One, you have a personal style, but you don't really have the confidence to wear it out. Two, you don't really know your personal style. Or three, you really just enjoy seeing my face, which are all valid reasons you clicked on the right video. Your little mama savage, making you bitches look average. If she want it, she can have it. But she can't do with the baggage. If she throw it, I'ma catch it. Hello, what's up, and welcome to my channel. My name is Brandon, aka Breezes. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to find your personal style and how to find the confidence to wear your personal style. So I have everything broken down on my phone. I have like a list of what I want to talk about and talking points to make sure that I have everything covered so that you guys can strut and thrive and just be bad bitches that you need to be. First thing we're going to talk about is why should you find your personal style? I feel like a big, 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 big reason or why you should find your personal style is because it saves you money. Once you find your personal style, you no longer have those clothes in the back of your closet that have tags on them that never get worn or that you always just find yourself looking at. So therefore, when you aren't buying stuff that you know you're not gonna wear or buying things that you swear you're gonna wear, which we all do it, we all swear we're gonna wear something and we just never wear it. Finding your own personal style, this is how you figure out exactly what you want and what you're gonna buy and you know that you will wear it. The next important why you should find your personal style is because it helps you put outfits together easily. Once you have a bunch of pieces in your closet that you know you want to wear and that you can have an idea of what you're going to wear and feel comfortable in then it's easy to just go in your closet and pick out shirts shoes pants accessories cohesively collectively and quickly because you know your style now you have what you look good in you have what you like and the next reason is because it creates individuality when you have your own personal style you stand out from the pack and people see you and they know that that's you they're like oh that's Brandon that's Brandon's style or oh that's Shakisha, that's Shakisha style, or that's Lindsay, that's Lindsay style. Like, when you have your own individuality, it makes you stand out from the pack, and people just, people just wanna be you, okay? I'm gonna be honest. When you have this sense of personal style, sometimes people are envious of that. People love people that have individuality and that can wear their individuality confidently and by themselves, which is a big, big thing to my next reason is because it gives you boss bad bitch points, or not bitch, but, um, it just gives you a bunch of bragging points. Like when you have this sense of confidence and this sense of personal style that you wear unapologetically, that you wear independently, that you wear confidently, people look at you and be like, damn, I love the way that you express yourself so freely and confidently. Dang, I wish I knew them or I wish I had something like that. It just makes you admirable for the most part, I think. Or it makes you hate it because there are those people out there that hate confident people because I don't know why, but it happens, so. And now we're going to jump into the main part of the video, which are things to consider when trying to find your personal style. Your occupation, where you live, and your daily activities. I say these things because if your job requires you to wear, you know, like certain uniforms or you have to wear the same thing every day, then it might be hard for you to express a lot of your individuality or it might be hard for you to kind of be personable with your own style. And also where you live also plays a big factor into your style because if you live somewhere like California where it's hot all the time or if you live somewhere like Virginia where we are from hell to heaven then then that plays a big factor in how you want to express yourself and dress your style because I understand some people like to wear mink coats and some people like to wear leggings leather leggings at that I don't know who but you have to take into account where you live and although you might want to wear that thing or wear those articles of clothing sometimes you can't because of the environment that you live in which should be kind of self-explanatory, but it's not because there are people out there that wear things that just shouldn't be worn during certain weather times. And it happens. It happens to the best of us. Sometimes we just want to wear something so bad that we just don't care about the weather. I've done it. You will do it. It's okay. And then last thing to consider when finding your personal style is your funds, your money, your cha-ching, your bank, your bag, your dough, your bread, your guapo. Gu guapo is handsome. Your guap. Any of those things, your funds really play a big factor into your style because this is where you're buying your clothes. This is where you want to look for your clothes, what area you want to look for your clothes in. This is important because if you are balling on a budget, which is okay, I ball on a budget. It's okay to ball on a budget, but you want to ball on a budget to where people cannot tell that you're balling on a budget. You want to use your budget balling and make it look very expensive and very fashionable. And if you got the funds, you know, do what you want to do. Go buy where you want to go buy it. I don't know. I don't care. But it just, that's just the way it works. Okay. Now time to get down to the nitty gritty of finding your personal style. First thing you want to do is have inspiration. You want to keep being inspired. Inspiration is going to be this driving factor of finding your personal style. Finding your personal style 
is an ongoing thing. You're not gonna find your personal style and then just stop. Like, that's my personal style, that's how I'm gonna dress. No, because your style is ever changing the same way you're ever changing. Your style is going to be ever changing as well. You're going to keep growing along with your style is going to keep growing. Once you find inspiration, you want to keep being inspired. That is the key thing to anything in life, honestly. Not even just your personal style, but just life in general. You want to keep being inspired because that's how you grow and that's how you evolve. So before finding your inspiration, first thing you want to do is find the aesthetic that you want to kind of, you know, be inspired by. Once you can find your aesthetic, then it narrows it down to kind of like what you see and it narrows down the pool of the styling and the stuff that you're inspired by. Like, for example, the different type of aesthetics can be like, are you an e-boy? Are you an e-girl? Are you, are you chic? Are you casual wear? Are you vintage? Are you retro? Are you artsy? Are you all types of things? There's a different category for whatever style you want to be in. Are you a soft boy? Are you a streetwear? It's just the whole possibility is endless. And don't try to put yourself in a box either. It's okay to have to like multiple aesthetics. It's okay to have a lot of things that you like, but I would stray away from kind of having a lot of different things that just don't. Now here comes the fun part. This is the part that I love, this is the part that you're gonna love, this is the part that we just love together. I love, we love, you love, okay. This is utilizing Instagram. A lot of people like to use Pinterest or any other thing. I'm not a Pinterest person, I tried it, it just wasn't me. I feel like it was very basic and a lot of the things are very repetitive and it's not personable. I feel like Instagram is more of a bunch of people posting their personal styles and posting a lot of creativity and a lot of individuality, whereas Pinterest, everybody's kind of looking for the same thing my opinion I don't know first thing I want to say is follow Instagram accounts that you feel like express the way that you would like to dress but also Instagram accounts that inspire you or you just love the way that they dress or their outfits because once you find the Instagram accounts that you feel like you relate to the most style wise then this is where you will start to fluctuate and the ideas will come together like for instance I'm gonna put on the screen some of my favorite style accounts to look at for inspiration I feel like when I can relate to them then I can have better ideas and come up with better outfits just by seeing some of the things that they wear. Now this is the really fun part, which can also be the really time consuming part, which is creating a mood board. Now a mood board, you can create a mood board on whatever. You can use a little plaster board like this. You can just screenshot and keep it in your phone in an album. I use the Instagram save tool, which you know, you press a little save picture thing and then saves it to a folder. Anytime I'm scrolling down my feed or my explore page and I see different things that I like, I just save it, save it, save it, save it, save it. So now after doing all of this, I have this long, 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 just mood vision board of ideas and things that can inspire me and my personal style. Next thing we're going to talk about is the explore page. Now the explore page, is a great tool if you're not like me because for me on my main account my explorer page is full of RuPaul's Drag Race food and just a bunch of weird videos so if that is the case for you then I recommend creating a second account which is strictly for style and fashion and ideas now this is what I do I have a second account it's gonna be on the screen right here you guys can go follow my second account if you want to if you want to be inspired by some of the things that I'm inspired by I don't, I don't know I don't know if you want to do that but go do that I have my second account which is basically just my whole mood account I only follow fashion pages I only look at fashion things on this account because when I go on my explore page on this account all I see is style and fashion and ideas. Now, this is a great tool because I don't have to search, dig, or do any of that extra hard work with using my fingers. Yeah, there's people that are dying. Thing is right there for me, how I want it and when I want to see it, which is a great thing to have in my opinion. So I really, really recommend doing that because I feel like out of everything that I do, that is the most helpful. Just going to that page and being able to see a bunch of things, following all of my fashion people that I just love to see. All right there, one point, one time, one area. Okay, so now this is the fun part. I feel like I said the other part was the fun part. This is the funner part, which is shopping. Right now, although we are in quarantine and we are going through this global pandemic, you can still go shopping, but be very cautious. But you can also do online shopping, which I'm not a fan of online shopping because when I order things online, this new type of crazy come out of me and I track it every 15 minutes. So I try to stay away from online shopping, but if you're not crazy and you like online shopping, then I recommend finding the stores or places that sell kind of what you base your style on. So therefore, once you find the aesthetic that you like, once you find the style that you want to, you know, recreate for yourself, then this is where you find stores that match that aesthetic. Like for instance, 
if you're more of a vintage person and you like thrifting, then you know, uh, excuse me. Like for example, if your aesthetic was vintage, retro, or anything in that era and you love thrifting, I would think about, you know, thrift stores, finding online boutiques, maybe Depop, Poshmark, anything like that. People will be selling things that fit your aesthetic and that you like and also for cheap prices. And then if you felt like your aesthetic was more hype beast, more, you know, top of the line expensive, then you can look at stores like Dior, Balenciaga, Fear of God, Louis Vuitton, all those different things because that's what you like and you obviously got the funds for it. So find the stores that cater to your style because this will also make it easier to shop. Now, once you have found these stores, this is find the basics now when I say find the basics I mean once you've created this mood board and you look through your mood board once you see like a lot of the same pieces repeating then that's when you know that is a basic that you probably will want to go look at buying those are the staples and those are the things that you really want to center and base your style off of this part is experimenting after you've gotten the clothes or you have the clothes that you want to really start wearing and stuff like that. This is where you're trying on the outfits. You're mix and matching, you're putting on a bunch of different things that you would normally wear just to see like how you would like it. Because I know I found myself having stuff in my closet that I would never wear, that I never wore in my life. And then you just go in there and one day you're just like, let me try this on, let me go put this on. And it looks bomb as hell, it just looks really good on you. Because I know, you know when you have something that you don't think is gonna look good on you. You try it on and then you pose super stupid and ugly and awkward and then you're like, Mm, I don't know if I know. You gotta get in that. You gotta wear the clothes, be a bad bitch in it. Do just do all the things to make yourself understand that you should feel good in whatever you're wearing and make sure that it feels good on you. Play around, be playful, do not take your fashion so serious. It is style, it is expression, it's individuality. You don't have to be wearing one thing, or you don't have to be wearing, you know, you don't have to be closed in into a box. You know what I'm saying? Just play around in it and just do your thing. Now we're getting on to the fun part, which is talking about how to find your confidence. Now, finding your confidence is more, more, more important than finding your style. There are probably thousands of millions of people out there that are so creative, so original, so expressive, but do not have the confidence to express themselves freely, outly, and openly. And this is where this part becomes, you know, detrimental because when you don't have that freedom of expression because you're scared or you're nervous or you're too shy or insecure about something, then, you know what I'm saying, no one gets to see you for you and no one gets to see the individuality that you possess and that you can express to the world. Your, your individuality is always a gift and that's what I had to realize because I was not always a confident person. I was very shy, I was very awkward, I was very insecure about myself and I always tried to blend in. I never wanted to step out the box, I never wanted to be seen, not like everybody else, I never wanted to feel individual because well, I was being bullied, but also because I just didn't want to stand out. I felt like if I stood out, I'd be noticed, and if I was noticed, I'll be talked about, and if I was talked about, I would be, you know, insecure, obviously. So the first thing that I have to say to have this, you know, profound confidence is to practice the art of not giving a fuck. I know that sounds easier said than done, and that's a really frank way to say it, but that's honestly the only way you can really, you know, be confident. You have to put yourself in this mindset that you only live once. You're here once. You are this age once and you live this day one time. All of these one time chances and you're sitting there nervous and insecure about what another person might think. That's just all crazy. You might never get this chance again to express yourself. You may never get this chance again to go out there and just wear what you want to wear freely and how you want to. I don't like to sit and think about somebody might like this, especially people that I don't know. Why would I care about what a stranger thinks? You're never gonna see me again. I'm never gonna see you again. You'll glance at me. You can talk shit all you want, but you're never gonna see me, I'm never gonna see you. I'm gonna go about my day, you're gonna go about your day. Nothing's gonna happen. I recommend wearing the new pieces that you got or your new style little by little. So I mean like, if you got these new boots that you've never worn, you're a sneaker person and you just got these new boots, wear the boots out, but wear it with something that you would usually wear. You're wearing it out little by little, so when people see it, they're like, that's new. But it's not like it's a big jump into like this whole brand new wardrobe. It's just, you know, first you're starting with boots. And then once you wear the boots and you add pants, people are like, okay, that's new. And then after a while, you know what I'm saying, it will become regular. They'll see you in your new style and it will be a normal thing because as they've grown on it little by little and as they've seen it little by little, it becomes normal, it becomes regular and your style is now you. 
now they see you and they recognize you with that style and they connect that style to you. I really started to express my own visual style, I want to say like freshman year of high school because 8th grade, I just, oh god, I have another story another time. And then lastly, I want to say use social media as a confidence booster and for some positive feedback because once you gain this style that you have, once you have the confidence to wear it, and if you don't really have a circle of friends or have people that really, you know, you can bond with that new passion about, or you don't really have friends that are into style or your family is kind of like, Ooh, what the hell do you have on? But that is going to be it in this video. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram once again, just so you can keep up with me and anything that I do. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe. Subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next upload. Yeah.